Hello and welcome to section six of the ITIL 4 foundation certification training. This section is about continual improvement. Continual improvement is a model within the service value system of ITIL 4, which means it is one of the five components of the service value system. Continual improvement will occur in all areas of the organization which can be at any level. It could be at a strategic level, operational, or any other level, such as a tactical level. It is essential that every person who is involved in a service contributes to the improvement. Improvement needs to be continual rather than continuous. Continuous means it is non-stop improvement, which could create fatigue, whereas continual means to take breaks in between. Improve something, reinforce the improvement, then continue to the next improvement. This continual improvement model applies to the SVS entirely, meaning you could improve the SVS itself. You could improve any of the other elements in the SVS, such as the principles, the practices, the service value chain, the governance, and the way of improvement itself. And of course, improve the products, services, service components, and relationships. And as mentioned before, improvement may occur at any level. In ITIL 4, improvement is covered through a three pronged approach the continual improvement model in the SVS, the service value chain activity named improve, and the continual improvement practice, one of the 34 practices. The model which we are currently looking into is a structured approach or a methodology for improvement. It is a seven step approach for improvement. Whereas the improve activity in the service value chain, again, the service value chain sits within the service value system. It ensures and embeds continual improvement into the value chain. Whereas the improvement practice supports organizations in their day-to-day -day improvement efforts, such as identifying improvements, prioritizing them, creating justifications, tracking the progress of improvements, et cetera. So what is this improvement model in the SVS? It is a high level guide. An organization may use this or modify this a little bit or may use their own approach, but this is what is recommended by ITIL or suggested. Being a high level guide, it increases the success of IT service management initiatives. It focuses on customer value, which is one of the principles of ITIL, focus on value. The improvement efforts are not generic. They are linked to a specific purpose, a specific mission, goal, objective, rather a vision. It allows for an iterative approach, meaning it need not be big bang improvement. You could do a small improvement, get feedback, continue further, and take those small steps to achieve a larger improvement which means an improvement is manageable with several pieces with specific goals and a combination of goals will enable to achieve a vision, which means it is incremental. Deliver the improvement piecemeal to achieve the larger improvement, but also use the evolving approach by taking feedback, which is iterative approach. So what are these steps? It's a seven step approach answering several questions and taking some actions in between. The first question is, what is the vision? That is the first step to define the vision, which generally translates to a business vision, mission, goals, objectives, et cetera. The second step is to understand where we are now, where is the organization now? And because improvement may be done at any level, it could be a situation of a team or the entire organization or a specific geography. Where do we want to be is the target. So the previous step where we are now is about to perform a reference assessment to establish the reference baseline so that it can be compared to the achievement afterwards by first defining the target. Where do we want to be? Define measurable targets, that is. Next step is to plan to get there. How do we get there? By defining the improvement plan. Then the next step is to take the action. 
meaning execute the improvement plan. Then the next check is to ask, did we get there? And that can be done by evaluating the current metrics and key performance indicators in comparison to the previously defined measurable targets. And then the last step is to maintain the momentum, asking the question, how do we keep the momentum going? And before moving on to the next vision, we will take a more deeper look into this by going into every step and looking at an example. Step number one, what is the vision? Any improvement initiative, which is generally based on comparing with something historical, We'll need to focus on the goals and objectives of the organization. Be it a small team within the organization, it, the improvement should be aligned to the overall goals and objectives of the organization, which means that several teams should align their improvement goals with the organization goal. And this is the first step to understand the vision of the initiative. And this impacts all the other decisions and actions connected to the improvement and the vision of the organization for the future. Let us take an example here. In this case, the vision here is to have delighted customers. We are taking a vision at a more higher level rather than at a team level. Delighted customers is the vision. So it answers the first step, what is the vision? Of course, this vision will be achieved through several improvement goals. 